Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Hey, you want to have some fun today with new makeup? Well, I sure do. And I've got a table load of new makeup in front of me here today. Some of it's from PR, some of it I purchased. Thought we would put it all on, spend the day in it, and then we'll know if things are good or bad and whether we have some new makeup faves that I can recommend to you guys. Uh, one of the things that I'm most excited to show you is the BK Beauty True Beauty palette. This was just launched last Thursday by my friend Lisa J at Lisa J Makeup with her BK Beauty Company and this is their first foray into color cosmetics and this is the most gorgeous palette and I had the honor of helping them with their launch videos. I did a little tutorial for one of Lisa's launch videos so I've already used this. I already know that I love this palette but I wanted to show it to you guys in one of my videos so that I could recommend it to you because this um, went on sale last Thursday, should be available now. I believe I have a discount code for it for BK Beauty and for all the brushes and everything, um, which I can put in the info box below the video. It's for 10% off. And then the other thing that I'm super psyched about is the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. I grabbed this in the Sephora sale a couple weeks ago and I already used it once, but it actually went pretty well. So I'm dying to use it again on more of a like watching what happens with it makeup day. I wore it and I did yard work. So, you know, that's always not a good test of foundation, but it seemed pretty good. So I'm psyched about that. So let's get started putting on makeup. I'm gonna put my hair back and bring you guys in a little bit closer. This is the Faux Filter Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Apple Pie 255B. I remember when I reviewed the liquid foundation of this, the shade wasn't quite right for me and I'm glad that they added another shade kind of in between. And this one seems to be like a pretty dang perfect match for my skin tone. Like you can't even really see that on there. So I'm just gonna put it directly onto my skin. And I've got a slightly damp beauty blender here. Let's just go ahead and blend that in. So this is supposed to be a buildable foundation. So you can start with it sheer and then you can build it up to full coverage. Wow, the match on this is so perfect. I don't think I've had a foundation match that has been this perfect in quite a while. I really haven't met a stick foundation that I've loved ever. They're all just like too heavy, too waxy, but I love the idea of a stick. And so that's why I keep trying them. Wow, does that look nice? Let me look at my up close mirror. <laughs> I gotta see if I'm seeing this right. Of course, I mashed a dog fur into my face. <laughs> Gotta get that off. Wow, that is really nice, really pretty. Look at that finish, so pretty. All right, let me try the other side with a brush. Let's see how that goes. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 106 brush and just buff that around in little circles. Feel like it's not moving it around as well as I want it to. You know, I just looked at it on my up close mirror. That actually looks pretty good too. Um, but I am gonna switch over to the BK Beauty 101 to do my forehead. This is my favorite foundation brush. I just love it. So I'm gonna do more of like a swiping. I'm just gonna build this one up a little bit more over here. Wow, does that look nice? Holy cow. Okay. Just gonna build it up a little bit more over on this side with the sponge, just right here on the front of my cheek. I can see a little bit of redness showing through. All right, well, I can already tell you that so far, this is my favorite stick foundation ever. I usually put them on and hate them right away from first application. And this one I think just looks so pretty and it doesn't feel like heavy and waxy like they usually do. That looks really nice, take a look. All right, now I have two different under eye concealers to use. One is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer and Corrector. And the other one is the L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream HA Concealer. So this is supposed to be super hydrating, almost like a hybrid eye cream and a concealer. So I'll do the Pat McGrath over here and do the uh, L'Oreal over there. That looks pretty good, good coverage. All right, you guys, I always like to ask you 
what you're watching on Netflix and loving. I just finished watching The Queen's Gambit over the weekend. Such a good show and so beautiful. The sets, the colors, the clothes. It takes place in the 60s. Gorgeous. It's about chess. So if you're looking for something to watch, try that. And what else can I watch? I feel like I've watched everything that I was interested in now and I'm just kind of flailing around with nothing to watch. All right, just took a look at those two close up. I think I definitely prefer the look of the Pat McGrath. That is really smooth coverage. That looks gorgeous. It's covering everything up. It doesn't look thick and cakey. Um, the L'Oreal is definitely like it went on patchy. It didn't go on smooth at all. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, and I did use a lot more of that than I did of the Pat McGrath. For the under eye setting today, I have the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Under Eye Blurring Powder. Saw this online, was like, ooh, a specific under eye blurring powder. Awesome. I need one of those. We all need one of those, right? Under eyes are the worst place to put on makeup, to have, you know, we need blurring there. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. So, oh, maybe I should use one of my new brushes. Look at these cute elf packages of brushes. I saw these in the store. I was like, oh, those are adorable. I'm going to grab those. So this is like the blush bronzer. This is a highlighter set. So these are the two highlighter brushes, but I'm thinking I can use this one for setting under eye concealer. The brush I normally use is an elf brush anyway. It's the elf blush brush. I like the point on this one. This one isn't quite so pointy, but I'm going to give it a try with this Pat McGrath powder. This is in a color, so I got it in the shade medium. Hope that's not going to be too dark. Let me just pick up a little bit of that and go ahead and set the under eyes. I feel like the foundation can use a little setting too, so I'm also going to set my T-zone. I feel like it's just a little bit shiny. I'm going to use this one for bronzer, this one for blush. For the bronzer today, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. It's a mini. I got it in the Sephora sale last week. It has this very light pale bronzer and this nice highlighter. So let me go ahead and try the bronzer. It's, like I said, pretty pale for bronzer. I suppose it's going to be good for really pale people. If you're darker and you want to do any kind of contouring with it, probably not going to do much for you. For the blush today, I have a new one from ColourPop. This one came in PR. It's their Chase pressed powder blush. Love that flower pattern. And here's the blush. It's just a really pretty pale peach color. Ooh, that's so pretty. Back to the Charlotte Tilbury for the highlighter. Where's that little elf brush? Oh, so they have a little fan brush here with the elf brushes. So I'm just going to fan that in. Mm, this is not the shape of fan brush that I like. Not loving this brush already, but let's see how it applies the highlighter. Just feel like it's not getting any on there. Can you see highlighter? Let me use the other one from the kit. This one's supposed to be for more of an intense highlight. Okay, now I'm seeing it. Because you know if there's one thing I like, it's a highlight. <laughs> It's funny, my mom was watching my video and she's like, honey, there's like a white thing on the end of your nose. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean a white thing? Like a, like a zit? And she's like, no, it's just like the end of your nose is white. I'm like, oh, it's my highlighter. She's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think she liked it. I know Wayne doesn't like that. Wayne Goss. Does it bother you? Let me know what you think of the end of the nose highlight. It became a thing a few years ago. Do we need to keep it a thing or not? I don't know. All right. Oh, the one thing I don't have is a new eyelid primer. So let me go ahead and use my favorite, which is the Fenty Amplify Eyelid Primer. Could actually use a new one of these. It's getting a little old and dried out. So I had my front steps redone last week. They were caving in. They were all broken. The grout was all gone. So, but the new steps were wider. So they had to rip up a bunch of my garden. So I have to go out and replant some of the plants today. And it's so great because it's November and it's like 70 degrees here today. We've had the best weather this week. It's been so warm and so beautiful. All right, let's do the eyeshadow next. I've got the BK Beauty True Beauty Palette. Look at this guy. Isn't it beautiful? It is definitely a warm leaning palette as far as the matte shades that you get in here to do your blending, but it does give you a few cool shades and a couple of nice purples and everything. So I feel like it's a nice versatile palette. This is my It Cosmetics 112 brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Beam. I'm going to put that on the center of my eyelid. 
and I'm just going to blend that into the inner corner all over the movable lid. And these eyeshadows are so creamy and so gorgeous, so easy to work with. Next I'm going to use my Wayne Goss number 17 brush and I'm going to dip into the shade Love. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that. I'm not going to go too heavy with that. I'm going to tap it off because I just want to do like the lightest, sheerish, sheerest wash of color above the crease. I feel like this is just such a beautiful transition color. So I really like to start paler and then build the colors as I go. I don't really like to pack on too much color to start. Next I'm going to go in with my Wayne Goss number 20 brush and I'm going to dip that into this darker color down here, Queen. And I'm going to bring that right on top of Love at the outer corner and just a little bit up into the crease. And I'm going to use my BK Beauty 201 brush to blend that out. Next I'm going to go into the shade Ambition. I'm just going to pick that up with my finger and I'm going to pack that on the center of my eyelid and rub it back and forth to blend it. And what I love about the shimmers in this palette is that they're not super glittery or super shimmery. So if you're older and more mature and you're afraid of shimmer shadows, you can definitely use the shimmers in this palette. Next I'm going to take my Sigma E56 lid shader and dip into Brooklyn. I'm going to pack that at the inner corner. And I'm just going to use that brush to blend those two shades together. Next I'm going to use my E47 lid shader and I'm going to go back into the shade Love. I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up right on the tip of the brush. I'm just going to run that underneath my lower lid just to connect the upper and lower eyeshadow. Next I'm going to use the BK207. I'm going to dip back into the shade Beam. And I'm just going to create a little highlight right along the edge of my brow bone. This is going to be a matte highlight. I'm just going to go back to the Wayne Goss 17 and make sure that I have that shade Love up high enough to really help the hood recede. All right, for the eyeliner, I've got two different eyeliners. I've got these NYX Epic Sticks. I grabbed a few of these um, when I was in Ulta the other day. I've got a dark purple, a light violet, and a pretty silver. I think the silver is not really going to go with this look too well. Actually, I was going to do a more purpley look, which these would have been better for, but um, oh well, that's okay. I also have a liquid liner. I've got Maybelline Hyper Easy Eyeliner. Right, I'm going to go ahead and use the purple one. It's called Fierce Purple on the upper lash line. And then I'm going to use the lavender one, Periwinkle Pop. I'm going to use that on the lower lash line. That looks really pretty. I like that. All right, let me go ahead with the liquid liner, which of course is hard to do. Ooh, this is interesting. It's not round. It's like faceted. Can you see? Always hard to do on camera, but we'll give it a try. And I haven't done liquid liner in so long. I think I haven't used liquid liner since the beginning of the pandemic. So, hmm. Hmm. I actually do like this tiny brush. It makes it really easy to get it where you want it to go. Though I didn't make it go up steeply enough. Usually I have to do really steep and I forgot. In order to get that little uplift at the outer curve, I have to go way further up than the average bear. That was really super easy. I love this one. Usually the felt tips, they're too bendy and too wiggly and it, you can't get it on, but this one, it went on perfectly. All right, for my brows, I have the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in Dope Taupe. And this has a nice little spoolie on the end. Let's comb everything up into place. Oh my goodness, this is tiny. Where are you even? Hello. You talk about precision. Ooh, but it's nice and creamy. All right, let's give this a go. Also haven't done my brows in a dog's age either. Just have been wearing very minimal makeup. Because, you know, who's seeing me? I mean, you guys, but I do like to wear makeup for YouTube videos. Okay, this is nice to use. It's very creamy. It's very precise. Gotta scrub that off there. So, you guys, we're into November. How are you feeling about Christmas shopping? It's so confusing this year. Like, 
I feel like all the normal gifts are off. But I'm thinking a lot of like home stuff, candles. Like what are you guys thinking about giving people for the holidays this year? I have got two mascaras as well. One is Maybelline Colossal. This is like a little sample that I got. Oh, also Maybelline, the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. Let me use the Falsies Lash Lift on this side. And you know what I'm, I'm feeling like I want for Christmas this year? I want a new handbag. Um, I haven't really bought a like, oh, what am I saying? I got one last year. I got like a go out bag last year, but I haven't gotten like an everyday carrying handbag, like a new one in quite a while. But I'm looking at them and I'm not really seeing anything I love because I'm not into the designer bags. Are you guys into the designer bags? Like, do you like walking around with Louis Vuitton or Chanel or Gucci? Not really into that. I do love a Rebecca Minkoff bag and I was looking at them and I was like, meh, just okay, not doing it for me. Let's try the Colossal and see what happens with this. Ugh, wow, flowery, flowery fragrance. I don't understand why. I think that's, wait, is that why I stopped using Maybelline? I remember I tried one a while ago that had a floral fragrance and I was like, why? Why do I want my eyelashes to smell? All right, so back to Christmas and holiday shopping. And when are you shopping? Are you shopping already? Like I usually put out my holiday gift guide in on Black Friday so that you can get lots of deals on everything. But I'm feeling like we're all gonna be done shopping by then. So I feel like maybe I should do it earlier this year. I actually really like the look of this one. I don't like the look of this one so much. This is more of those like spidery legs with like nuts and twigs and bumples on it. But I really like the look of this. They're long and smooth and silky looking lashes. Okay, here, let me show you so you can compare. All right, see the difference? Aren't those pretty? And those kind of clumpy, kind of yucky. All right, the last thing is our lippy for today. And I've got a whole new collection of lipsticks from Buxom. These are supposed to be plumping lipsticks and packaging just is so pretty. I'm thinking fly girl, pop star, or supermodel. But let's swatch them and see what they look like. Ooh, they feel so creamy. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, from top to bottom, fly girl, pop star, supermodel. Gonna go with supermodel. I don't have a new lip liner, so let me just use my tried and true that I think will go with this, and that is, of course, the Wayne Goss lip liner in Natural Berry. I had my teeth cleaned yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh. First time in so long. Because of course I set up my dentist appointment six months out. And the last one I had was for like the spring. And of course, because of COVID, they were closed. So they rescheduled me. And they rescheduled me for over the summer. Over the summer, I wasn't feeling comfortable with laying in the chair with my mouth hanging open. Although it was better then because now it's spiking and then it was pretty calm. So I canceled. We rescheduled. And in mid-September I didn't feel good, so I called and canceled because I was like, I think it's just allergies, but let's just be safe. And they were like, yeah, stay home. Had it rescheduled for yesterday and I went. <laughs> and got my teeth cleaned and hopefully it's going to be all good. Okay, which one did we decide on? Supermodel, right? Where are you? Mmm so creamy feels so good now this has the slightest little fragrance mm, cotton candy-ish maybe not sure all right let's let the hair out a little hair all right let me zoom you back out and we will take a look and see how this all looks together i think it's a really nice makeup look all right time check it's late. I got a late start. I had so much to do this morning. Oh my gosh, it's two o'clock. So let me go ahead and wear it. I haven't had lunch yet. I gotta have some lunch. I've gotta record another video. I have to plant those plants out front. Um, and then I'll be back later on to do the wear test. But so far, really liking the makeup. Hey you guys, I'm back. We are four hours in with the makeup. Just wanted to check it out and see how it's looking at this point. I did have to repowder my T-zone. Um, unfortunately, the Pat McGrath powder didn't hold up throughout the day and keep me mattified, so I did switch over to my IT Cosmetics powder. That's the Bye Bye Pores powder. I love that one um, because this was getting a little bit more luminous and dewy than I liked it, and I 
was recording a video and I didn't want to be a super shine fest so I did go ahead and powder it. Um, I did touch up the lipstick because I ate lunch and after lunch the lipstick was all gone. I gotta say I'm a little disappointed in the lipstick because my lips were really dry after I ate lunch like they were actually peeling up so while I love the colors and I love how creamy it feels going on it was drying and it didn't last through a meal. I think that everything is wearing really well. I'm really especially happy with this foundation like I have never met a stick foundation that I even like for a minute on my face and we're four hours in with this and I think this looks really really good. It's really not settling into wrinkles, it's not wearing off, the coverage is still solid and I feel like it looks pretty skin-like and really nice. The eyeshadow is wearing great, the eyeliner, the mascaras are wearing great. I think everything looks really good. Oh yeah and the other thing that I'm disappointed in is the L'Oreal concealer but I didn't like that from the get-go. It definitely is looking a little thin, I'm a little creased in there but the Pat McGrath concealer is looking really really good so I'm liking that one a lot and I like this highlighter I am really enjoying the makeup today so I'm really happy with it so far I'll see you back here in another four hours to do our final check-in it is 10:43. so we're getting almost a nine hour check-in on the foundation and everything else we have on today gotta say the makeup has head up, held up really well my hair though has not it's rained and so it's getting really frizzy let's take a look at the makeup i gotta say this foundation wow talk about staying power it is really still in place everywhere like this is really nice and long lasting it doesn't feel oily or heavy um, I really like it it didn't really settle in wrinkles it didn't accentuate pores a little worn off here on my chin but doggies were kissing me there so that's to be expected forehead doesn't look bad the highlighter is definitely still in place um, blush mm, seems to have worn off a bit okay it is getting a little bit shiny right in here but you know could just blot or powder and that would be fine let's take a look at the concealers um, this side is the Pat McGrath and I actually think that the coverage on that is really solid still at the end of the day. It is creased at the inner corner. <laughs> Doggies are running and playing. And this is the Maybelline side which is definitely a little bit more worn off, a little bit more creased. The eyeliner is definitely still in place. I can see that lavender here and on the upper waterline still in place and the other eyeliner oh my gosh did i really make a wing this big <laughs> oh my gosh like i said kind of out of practice but yes that eyeliner is solid and in place and hasn't budged i think the eyeshadow still looks good all in all a really good makeup day brows are good too so I would say that my favorite products of this new makeup try-on are definitely going to be the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. If you guys are looking for a stick foundation, definitely give this a try. Of course, the BK Beauty Palette. I love the palette. It is beautiful. You know, ideally for me, it's a little bit on the warm side, but I got to say it's not so super warm and like so red and so orange that you can't make like a good everyday look with it. I love the look that I created today and I love the look that I did the other day for their launch video tutorial, which was much more cool. And I used this purple. Which one was it? Oh, this one here. The purple shimmer kate and it was just beautiful with these warm peachier colors so this has everything that i need in a palette it's got a couple of pale mattes a couple of mid-tone mattes but the shimmers in this i think are perfect for more mature skin because there's no glitter in sight anywhere here there's not a wasted pan in this palette i don't think there's anything in here that you really like wouldn't use on a regular basis so all in all great palette great job bk beauty loving that on the charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow i'm glad i got the mini i'm glad i didn't splurge on the full size on this i do like the highlighter i think it's really pretty the bronzer though is too pale and too cool for me but if you're a pale person who leans to the cool side this could be perfect for you for me it just wasn't great i actually touched up my bronzer before i made the second video which is why you can see the bronzer more on my forehead because it's not the charlotte tilbury i replaced it with the makeup geek bronzer in tawny this is one of my favorites the ColourPop blush 
was really pretty, kind of foolproof, really nice for pale skin tones. I'm not sure I'm really seeing too much of it left here at the end of the day, so not great staying power on that. Uh, the Pat McGrath Labs setting powder, I can't say that it really was awesome. Uh, it's supposed to blur my under eyes. I don't really feel like it did. I feel like even setting it with this, everything still creased and I could still see the creases and it didn't blur anything. I could still see my wrinkles. And then my skin did get kind of shiny after a few hours, so it really wasn't that mattifying as well. This Maybelline Hyper Easy Liquid Liner, so easy. Oh my gosh, this is like the easiest liquid liner I've ever used, so highly recommend that. I do like these little NYX eyeliners that I picked up. They came in a great range of colors. If you're looking for a little bit more of a colorful eyeliner, these are really good. And talk about staying power. I mean, nine, nine hours and it's still there. This mascara, I didn't love the look of the lashes, but they certainly are staying in place pretty well. I gotta say, I actually like this Falsies Lash Lift Mascara by Maybelline. It gave me the kind of lashes that I like. I mean, I still prefer my Holy Grail one, the L'Oreal Unlimited to this. The ColourPop Eyebrow Pencil has certainly stayed in place and lasted and looked good. And it's such a tiny, tiny micro fine tip that you really can be very precise with it. So I really like that. The Lippy, you know, I felt like it was drying. I felt like it didn't really have great staying power, but I love the shades that it comes in and I love how it feels when you first put it on. It's got that nice minty buxom tingle. I don't think it is actually plumping, but I think it makes my lips look nice. So that is the nine hour check-in on the makeup. All in all, a really good makeup day, really happy with 90% of this stuff, so can recommend most of it. If you're interested in purchasing anything, links are in the information box below the video. So that's it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative and had fun testing new makeup with me today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.